It has been a long time since I've done the preview of the Fjall Raven Keb 52 liter backpack. In fact, I got this in the summer of 2019. It is now going on to very soon spring 2020. Since the preview, I have been testing this pack out thoroughly. You all have seen this in my videos. I've used this on numerous trips. I never do lazy reviews here on this channel. I take my time. I test out these products. I learn of the pros, the cons, the weaknesses, and I share that information with you all so you could go out and make the best decision when it comes to your purchases. So with all of my testing, it is time to jump to the review of the Keb 52 liter backpack. So let's just start at the beginning. The price of this pack retail is around $275. It is very heavy. This is four pounds, 15.7 ounces, which means that it is almost five pounds. There's a men's version, a woman's version, and it is available in numerous colors for each. And there are two versions of this pack, the 52 liter and a 72 liter. I'm sure you're wondering, what about sizes? One size fits all, and that's because this backpack features an adjustable harness system, which we will talk about in just a minute. This is made from Fjall Raven's Bird Chill material and also with the well-proven G1000 Eco S fabric. In addition to the Eco G1000 material, this pack features YKK zippers. And this pack was designed for multiple adventures, hiking, skiing, and even very technical adventures. The profile of this backpack is extremely narrow. And I will show you what I mean by that. So take a look at it here on my back you can see how narrow this is. It doesn't stick out from my body very far. It's very, very close to my back. That narrow profile allows you to do technical trips. It lets you go through like very challenging terrain. It allows you to go through like brush, stuff like that without the pack getting essentially stuck on outside elements. Also, because it's so narrow, it hugs the body and this allows for excellent weight distribution. And the frame of this pack is made from birch. How about that? How different is that? Most packs feature aluminum stays for the frame, not this pack. Before jumping to the pros and cons of this backpack, let's go over the features real quick here. You have this front pocket, which features YKK zippers, as mentioned before, on the inside. You have a good amount of space, a stretchy pocket, and a zippered pocket. This pocket is very narrow, but it's big enough for most cell phones, keys, maybe your wallet. When looking at the front of the pack on the right hand side, you have two compression straps. You have a hydration pocket for bottles. With these compression straps, these do not have buckles, but you can release them. Just like so. There's a metal clip right here. This is nice and easy and it works well. The hydration pocket is unique. Essentially what you have here is a fully adjustable hydration pocket. And if you don't need this pocket, you can pull it completely flat against the side of the pack and out of the way. For this hardware, you do have pools, which make adjusting this very, very easy. Taking a look at the other side, you have more compression straps, the hydration pockets, and one additional feature, which happens to be this zipper right here. Check this out. Access to the inside of your pack. Yes, this is a dual access backpack. For the most part, this is not a feature that I use all the time, but when I need to grab something from inside of my backpack, something very small, this really does come in handy. There are times where you will be very glad that you have this feature. Side loading, not so important, but for grabbing those smaller items that you need, it's awesome. Going down here on the front, you have gear loops, and you also have a sleeping bag compartment. This has two-way zippers, and is easy to open and close. The back of the pack here is essentially what you would expect with any modern day backpack. You have the grab handle right up here at the top. You have the harness system here, padded, sternum strap, all the adjustments that you would expect. You have the waist belt. You have two side pockets. You have strap adjusters for the waist belt as well. And as mentioned before, this harness system is fully adjustable. You can raise this, you can lower it, and it is very easy to do. When it comes to the lid, this is a free floating lid. You have buckles all the way around. It can be removed. On the back side, you have a pocket and enclosed rain cover, a good amount of space up top. On the inside, you have a label for your name and contact information, and you have an additional pocket with key clip on the inside. You have a center compression strap. Draw pull for the lower, draw pull for the upper. 
yes, this is somewhat expandable as you can see here. And because the lid is free floating, you can raise it and lower it when you need to. Going to the inside of the pack. This is fully hydration compatible. You have a clip here for a hydration bag. You have the hydration sleeve. And there is no sleeping bag divider with this pack. You have a port for your hydration hose. I've gone over the stats. We've taken a look at the pack together. Let's jump to the review. First off, let me just say this. I absolutely love this pack. I purchased this with my own money. I do not do sponsored reviews. This pack is worth every single penny. In fact, this is probably the best pack that I tested out in 2019. Without a doubt, without a doubt, this is the most comfortable backpack I have ever worn. Even though this small little backpack weighs almost five pounds. The suspension system here is just top notch. The padding is super, super comfortable. It's thick, it's soft, it's cushy, not too soft though. I mean, in truth, it is absolutely perfect. It really is. Fjall Raven has done an excellent job with really honing this system here. The 52 liter version is just phenomenal. I do not know about the 72 liter. I assume that it's very good as well. Maybe in the future I will get that in. But with the 52 liter, this is without a doubt one of the most comfortable backpacks I've ever used. The quality is top notch and it should be. This is Fjall Raven. They make excellent, excellent gear. If you have followed the channel for a while, you know that I greatly respect Fjall Raven. I have some Fjall Raven pants. I have a couple sweaters, maybe a jacket. I tell you what, their gear is not inexpensive. There's no doubt about that. It is pricey, but 99.9% .9 of the time, it is well worth the purchase. These pants here are a great example. These are the Barrent Pro trousers from Fjall Raven. I purchased these with my own money. I believe I got them on sale from Camp Saver or maybe Moose Jaw, something like that, for around 100 bucks. And they have lasted for years and years and years. I don't want this to sound like an ad because it's not. These are real world impressions from me 100% agenda free. I don't care if you buy this. I don't care if you buy these pants. Your purchase decision is up to you and you alone. I don't care. Continuing on, the materials are excellent. Best of the best. There's no issues when it comes to stitching, nothing like that. No loose threads. This pack has really handled itself very well in all the conditions that I've thrown at it. I've used this in the hottest part of the summer of 2019, the coldest part of this winter, which has not been very cold. I'm sure everybody's wondering, Luke, where are the winter adventures? Folks, I'm waiting for the winter. <laughs> it just has not shown up this year, unfortunately. The one thing that you should keep in mind is that this is a 52 liter pack. That is pretty small for a winter trip. I've been able to get it to work, but I had to really scale down my equipment and use smaller items because 52 liters isn't really a lot of space. So do keep that in mind. Maybe you like this pack, but maybe you need more space. Grab the 72, that would be my recommendation. But if your equipment is smaller in size, maybe you're trying to go lighter, maybe you're trying to go more minimalist, the 52 could work for you. For myself, this has been a sweet spot. It's worked well in the summer, it's worked well in the winter. If I was using a really thick sleeping bag and a four season tent, it may not fit inside of this. Continuing on with the pros here, the harness system is fully adjustable. It works with me, it is going to work for you, and it is excellent. It is very easy to do. You can simply slide this up and down minor adjustments. I really can't overstate just how comfortable this backpack is. You would think with a five pound pack it would wear on you, but it doesn't. The lumbar support, the waist belt, the harness system, the backing here, I mean, it truly is impressive. Because of the narrow profile, the weight distribution is perfect. This pack, once you have it on, does not swing around loosely. You could step over logs, trees, you can move, and you don't have to worry about the weight shifting and throwing you off balance, which is very, very important. That is one reason why this makes such an excellent technical pack and also a skiing pack. You can easily stow your skis on one side and you don't have to worry about that weight pulling you around, throwing you off balance when you're hiking through the snow and whatnot. Talking about comfort, the most that I've had in this pack is roughly 35 pounds and I was able to carry it with ease. With the side access, even though this is a feature which I don't use all the time, I am glad it's there. It will make your life easier at certain times and with a pack that is designed like this, a pack that is so narrow, this can make your life easier. You don't have to worry about opening the top and having to pull it through the narrow opening. You can unzip and pull it from the side. 
Next up, there are plenty of pockets with this pack so you can organize your gear any way that you want to. You have pockets here on the lid and you have this front pocket here, which I really like. It was smartly designed because you still have lots of usable space inside of this, even when your backpack is stuffed full. There is enough additional material here so that you can stuff your pack. It rounds a little bit, but there's plenty of space left over. Many packs you will see that have a front pocket haven't taken this into account. You stuff the pack and there's no space on the inside of that pocket to put anything. That is not the case with the Keb 52. With the G1000 Eco, you can waterproof this with wax if you want to. This is not something that I plan to ever do. The thing is, this does include a rain cover and I recommend using it. The Berg Shell material itself is highly water resistant, but if you don't wax this material, it will absorb water and weigh about a million pounds. For me personally, I've always used the included rain cover and this pack has performed very, very well. Now that we've gone over the pros, I believe I've covered them all, let's talk about the cons. With the padding here on the back, this is not the most breathable. You do get some ventilation down here, but not so much on your back. If you push yourself hard enough, you will sweat and you have to keep that in mind. Sweat is a very important factor for any backpacking trip. So make sure to pay close attention. Make sure to bring some additional clothes and take some time to dry off when you need to. Con number two deals with these hip pockets here. They are not very good in my opinion. Take a look. You really can't open these with one hand. It takes two. Also, they are fairly small, really. I would like to see much bigger pockets that are also easier to open and close. Next up, because this is such a narrow pack, the opening here for the main compartment is also narrow. So pulling out some items, putting some items in can be somewhat of a chore. It's a trade-off. Yeah, the narrow pack, super stable. It's a little bit narrow here when it comes to loading and unloading. As far as cons go, that is it. So let's summarize. Do I recommend this backpack? 100% yes I do. This is an excellent investment. This is a pack that is going to last you for a very long time. And this is a pack that I plan to keep in my personal collection for a very long time. Think for a second how many backpacks that I have, how many backpacks that I've reviewed, how many backpacks I've sold. That really says a lot, it really does. This is an excellent product. And again, it is one of the most comfortable backpacks ever. At no point in time does this pack feel like it weighs five pounds. It truly is impressive. It's super tough. This is something that is going to be super reliable. It has been for me, it will be for you. It's adjustable. You can get it to fit you to a T. You can have the hip belt exactly where it needs to be for you because you can easily adjust it. The materials themselves are eco-friendly. So is the frame. If you're conscious about the environment, that's another pro for this backpack. Again, keep in mind the size. 52 liters may be a little bit small for you depending on what your gear loadout looks like. And with that being said, everyone, that wraps up my review of the Fjall Raven Keb 52 liter pack. I don't care if you buy this, I really don't. But I can tell you from my experiences, this has proven itself to be a good pack. If you feel like supporting a channel that is 100% agenda free, you can do so through Patreon. I do appreciate it. This channel is fully supported by ad revenue through YouTube and from the Patreon donators. Hit the thumbs up button and share your thoughts down below about this backpack. What do you like? What don't you like? State the good and the bad, and I will see you all next time. If you have one of these packs, make sure to share your thoughts and your experiences about it as well. Strength and honor. See ya.